and hi guys and welcome back to ONJ Gaming and you are me Ollie and we are back with another Pokemon Online tutorial. So I wasn't expecting to make another tutorial video with Pokemon Online but a lot of you guys are still having problems with um, um, making an account, forgetting password and email problems and all that. So in this tutorial I'll be going from scratch. So I'll be like go, going showing you how to download it, how to download Pokemon Online, how to make a Pokemon Online account, and what happens if you forget a password um, or username, and with your email as well. So shall, shall we get into this video? Here are the timestamps. So go to each timestamp for you guys to. Um, uh, choose your problem otherwise watch it all from the beginning so um, this part first part here I'm going to be showing you how to um, go to and get Pokemon online um, here Pokemon online and it should be the first um, selection here it should be if it's not, try and look for www.pokemon.com. Now, you can type that in anyway at the top here, so it doesn't matter. You can type it in in your browser and click on that and play the trading card game online. As soon as you do, you get to the official website where it has not just the Pokemon online, it has um, everything Pokedex, everything you want. So, Right, so to download Pokemon Online, so you don't need to have an account, you can play as a guest, but a guest, so let's just click on um, play Pokemon Online, so yeah, um, as I was saying, you don't need to have a Pokemon um, Online account, but you can play as a guest, but you don't have certain features where if you play as a guest, and your, your data won't be saved as well. In, let's say if you uninstall Pokemon online or whatever. Anyway, here are the things to download. So Windows, Mac, the Apple, so you can use it on an iPad, not on a iPhone. So you can't use Pokemon Online on phones, I believe. I think it's only on tablets. So Google Play as well. So you only can get these on tablets um, because it has to be a big enough screen. Whereas Windows and Mac. I will do, if you guys want to see me do a tutorial on how to do it on a tablet. I have got a Android tablet I can do it on. If you guys want to see that tutorial. Anyway, um, I'm doing it for Windows. So version, um, even um, does a new version. But then you just, you don't click on release notes. You click on this orange. But then you click on orange. And on, it all depends on um, what what uh, thing. I'm hoping you can see this. You will get a thing to say save, save file. It may come up if you're using Firefox. It may come up like this, but it might come up in a different way. So you click save, and then when it's saved, and once it's um, saved, so up here it it shows the display that is downloading. So when you have downloaded it, it should be in your downloads file. If you download it on PC or on Mac, it should be in your downloads file unless you've changed your downloads. So I put it on my desktop here. So let's double click this and let's install Pokemon. So what you do get, you get this, you get um, Windows installer coming up like this. So I had to uninstall Pokemon. And I will be showing you how that how to uninstall Pokemon at the end of the video because sometimes it doesn't want to uninstall. So you click next, you go you set the terms best to really read it, but so and you select where you want the folder and then you click install and then it'll install. So like I mentioned at the end of the video I'll show you how to uninstall it because people are having problems on uninstalling it as well was very very annoying but i will show you how to uninstall it at the end of this video 
So now we just wait until it's downloaded. So I'll be back once it's done. Right, now here we go. Um, It has installed, it's saying launch. You don't have to launch Pokemon Online straight away. And then just finish, but I'm going to say launch Pokemon. So finish. So it will go into a big screen. Uh, just got to let you guys know that it will go into a big screen straight away. So then you'll get a full screen like this. And don't worry, you can adjust the screen settings when you um, log in and that. So basically, the you, if you don't want to make an account, you just go and do it as a guest and you start game there. But then you can upgrade your guest account um, um, if you want to in the future. So you don't worry about that. I'm not going to click that because um, it's basically it goes through a tutorial on how and you can't skip the tutorial on how to play. It'll go through that and then um, it, you'll be a guest. But if you want to make an account, it says here login. But I so shall we go to the website? to make an account so uh, once so we go back to this website pokemon.com slash um, if you're in another country it won't say UK like it says up here but Pokemon it'll take you to this so we've downloaded the game now you want to create an account so let's create a Pokemon online account so you click here login so this little green you click login and then it'll take you to this so welcome to trainer club this trainer if you already have a trainer club uh, account i think it would work if you already have a pokemon uh, trainer club account i think you can log into pokemon online through it i'm not sure so don't uh, if you aren't sure just create a new account so so you go here create a account so then you type in your birthday where you're from i'm not from the united states but i'm just going to say i am doesn't um where you're from if you do where you're from united kingdom united states you'll find little bits that are different but not much and when you're born and you click continue then you choose a username and it has to be a username so mine is um owen j own j gaming oops gaming and check availability see if it's available username already exists of course it does because i already made one and then it gives you options but you don't have to do that you can just keep you can do um any username you want and this will be um your username um to log into um your your uh your Pokemon account so make sure you write that down or keep it somewhere so you know where it is and you remember it your, so your username then uh, you do your password and um, so the password the password has to be has to include at least a capital letter and a, a lowercase so a capital letter and a normal letter it has to include at least one capital letter and one lowercase but it has to be a a reasonable long number it has to include um characters so this is where some people get um confused because they put in so these type of characters it's shown here star um comma that i wouldn't use them but ca capitals is like the um like the pound sign or or the uh the amber sign so um can i show you no i can't so if i go up here and i'll show you what it looks like so you can use pound you can use dollar you can use um divide you can use pound sign i think you can even use the at, at sign sign as well and um that as well you can use these in your password so it's asking to use at least one of those and try other ones but if the other ones don't work then i would use them so that's what i would do for your password next you just repeat it and then you do email 
before I would do this, test, make sure you got, log into your email, just go into your email, log into it, make sure you got that, that email is correct and you can log into that email first because a lot of people are saying oh I can't it I didn't get the email notification because you might have typed your email address wrong here so you might have typed your email address um, wrong here so if you if you type in your email address make sure it is correct so go to your email sometimes you can actually copy your email address so copy that and put it there to make sure you don't have any mistakes because um, and make sure you can log into your email address before you do this. OK, I would I would definitely suggest that because a lot of people have been having trouble not getting notifications for emails. because I think you might have typed even one little mistake without you re realizing. Trust me, I've done this several times. You can do and you can get a letter wrong by accident. And you've given them the wrong email so make sure you give them the email address correctly make sure you got it. next i never click that but it's up to you if you want to receive them do you want to display your training name again your screen name you just choose whatever you want so mine is o and j gaming Mine is that, but if I click available, it says the screen name is already been taken. But again, the screen name can be the same as your username, or it can be different. You don't have to have the same. Once you've done all that, um, you'll get to this to read the terms and conditions, and then you set, and then you click "I'm not a robot." Sometimes it does the robot thing, just this, and sometimes it um, does the picture thing. What is annoying? The picture thing is annoying. And then you click continue and um, what it will do, it will send you a link to your email. So once you've said that and everything's correct, it might ask you to do something if you missed something. If you have missed something, we make sure you've done it all. And then it will send you a, uh, a e email. So go to your email and it will be a Pokemon verification email. So you click on the link where it gives you and then you've done it then you've done your email if you've got any questions about this comment below one i cannot give you an email to use two i cannot give you a password to use either people have asked for an email and a password to use i cannot do that because that is security and if i give you a password then other people say i cannot do that so that's all to do with you but once you get the ver verification email click on the link and um it'll be it, and then it'll be all set up because it says there verify email it and make sure you verify it so make sure you got your email correct once you've done that you can go out of this and then go to the pokemon online app so let's go to that now then you right now you've opened this now you can log in so you log in make sure again it's verified you can go remember username and password so you don't have to retype it this only um i if you share your computer with your uh, your your family members i would um remember the username but not the login not the password if if unless you trust them and don't care so you basically type in your your username I've completely spelt that wrong. And your gaming, that's me. And then password. Uh, I hope I remember it. We'll find out. But then you click login and it loads this thing. Loading. Sometimes it takes a while and sometimes it needs an update. So be wary of that. Sometimes there's an update. So updates can take from two minutes to twenty minutes. It all depends. They they aren't. They're normally like once a month or every two months they do an update. Uh, normally it's actually every three months because um, the new Pokemon cards come out. But sometimes there's an update once a month. Just uh, be wary of that. 
so if you want to um, keep it up to date I would at least log into it once a day just to make sure it stays up to date this bit takes a while to load so I'll be with you once it's loaded right there we go you are loaded if this is your first time on this what you'll do you'll get a tutorial thing and the tutorial will it'll ultimately make you to do this tutorial you cannot um not do it so it'll make you to make you do all this yeah you can't skip it or anything and it does take a while to do what is annoying and if you want let's say you've got some codes to redeem it is really annoying but it will make you go through the tutorial first so i'm not going to go through the tutorial because you would have to bye So the best way to uninstall um, Pokemon Online if you're having problems with it or whatever, you just click on your search bar and type in uninstall and you'll get this, add and remove programs. So you click on that and I drag this here because it didn't want to. So you get all, you get this. So sometimes it takes a while for this to load, depends how many programs you have installed. Um, if you have loads of programs installed, it can take a while to um, load. Once everything's loaded, type in poke. And just P-O-K and Pokemon will pop up. You click on that and it says uninstall. No, that doesn't always work. It sometimes works. This is how uh, it doesn't always install. I don't know why. Nobody knows why this happens. But when sometimes when you click uninstall, it doesn't work. So you need to go to modify. So you click, so you click modify, and what it does, it pop, it pops up this. It pops up. Do you remember this at the beginning of the video of installing Pokemon? Yes, that pops up, and then you click next, and then you click remove, and it removes. Um, and make sure that's clicked, and then you just click remove. And it removes Pokemon Online. I'm not doing that because oh, I could. I suppose actually, yeah, let's do that. Remove. So you click remove and it just does all that and it removes it. And then you just, if you want to, and there we go, it's gone. It's still got this going up. So remove, removing shortcuts and removing what files, even though it's gone from there. Let that be. So in removing files and once it's done then you don't have then it will do that finish and there we go it's gone pokemon online is gone so um i will be probably posting this maybe separately as well um just so people can just watch this bit but yeah um and then all you do is just repeat the process by going on to the pokemon online website and downloading it or go on to the app store and downloading it. If you're having trouble uninstalling it on your tablets, please let me know because I haven't tried to, uh, it on there yet. So let me know if you're having trouble on the tablet. But yeah, that is um that that's Pokemon Pokemon um tutorial video on how to make an account, how to um download it, and how to uninstall. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments, please comment below. And if you want any more tutorials on this video, any more deep tutorials, please comment again below. Alright, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time on ONJ Gaming.